I'm in Outlook 365, and you can see I'm in the calendar section. So here are my calendars. I can choose to show all the calendars in my list by clicking on the Show All option, which I did. And now you can see I've got my holidays, my birthdays, things like that. But let's say I also want to add in a calendar from another account that I have. So I'll check the box for calendar for the other account. And look at that. It splits them on the left and the right hand side and it shows me what each calendar is. Now, if you don't see the split, then that means you have to click the split view options. So if I uncheck it, you won't see the split view. You're just going to see a combined amount of those two calendars. So I'll go back to split view and now you'll see the two. But let's say I want to add a whole new calendar. Let's click on add calendar and you get this new option. I'm going to choose to create a blank calendar and I'm going to call this my vacation calendar. Maybe I'm in charge of the vacations for my company. And I want to choose a specific color. Let's say I'll choose this brownish color here. And I want to make sure it's added to my calendar. So click Save. And now it's been created. There's the vacation calendar I just created. And you can see it's split on the left and right hand side. Remember, once again, if I uncheck the split view box, it combines the two calendars together. But it'll show my calendars for myself in blue and any vacations in this brown color, even if I uncheck the split. Then you can tell the difference between the two. So that is how you create and view calendars in Outlook 365.